501 Whiskey Club. I'm Jake. And I'm Andrew. Today we're going to be reviewing Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Now this is one that's talked about a lot in YouTube communities and it's not impossible to find compared to other whiskeys that are this hyped up. But that Sometimes change. it can be a little bit tough. Mm -hmm. uh, it took me a while to find it, but you do see it around, so it's not impossible. It's not a unicorn or anything. Uh, this one is particularly interesting to me. I mean, we've had the Elijah Craig small batch for a while, and it's it's a decent uh, bourbon. I'm probably making a lot of people upset calling it decent. I know they've got a, a lot of big fans, but... I'm uh, not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> But this is supposed to be a total game changer, so we'll see what I what we think of this one. Uh, this one comes in at 122.2 proof with 61.1% alcohol by volume, and this is batch B519. Uh, it's 12 years age stated, and it is non-chill filtered. So there's a lot of good stuff going on for that. I know that there's a big following for non-chill filter mm -hmm. whiskeys. It's just becoming, because the flavor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's become like the only way that you find them nowadays. It yeah, like <laughs> new they're ones. really, really trying to push for that. The big reason that companies are chill filtering bottles like this is because, you know, if there's a temperature change, it changes the way the whiskey looks. So it usually gives it kind of a cloudy appearance, and some people don't like that. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind, even though it may get a cloudy appearance it is still the same flavor profile you're not losing anything there um but you know with non-chill filtration you are going to get more flavor which to me is probably worth the trade-off of maybe having a cloudier whiskey so uh, without further ado we'll get this going all right and we'll be comparing it to the uh, small batch at some point absolutely <laughs> No way around that. Yeah. All right. So yeah, right off the bat, this is definitely going to be a lot more uh, a lot alcohol darker. here. Uh, you can definitely see the effects of the barrel on this one. Uh, I know the standard small batch is 94 proof, and like I said, this one is 122.2. So. Wow. Definitely a jump up there in the proof. I got a huge burst of cherry off of the nose there. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, giant, huge, huge, huge jumps of cherry. A lot of definite dry oak notes on here. Mm -hmm. Definitely getting that oak influence off of it. And that's just the nose. Yeah, which is in red. I'm getting that caramel, too. Hmm. A lot of the classic bourbon notes. Yep. A lot of what you'd expect from a bourbon and even from Elijah Craig. But I'm definitely getting more complexity than the normal small batch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I took a quick sip and it seems like a really, really quick, uh, not too much thought behind yeah. it. Just a really nice tartness right up front. And that cherry is really coming through, at least for me. I get mostly cherry out of it. And right off the bat, too, I'm just going to go up here and say, on the nose, it doesn't smell like 122 proof. No, no, not at all. It smells... Now, yeah, you definitely tell on the taste <laughs> <laughs> going down, it, it's a little higher. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yep. got a little... It, it definitely uh, shows you shows you what it's made of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that's a that burn comes a little earlier on than some. Yeah, other. it hit my tongue immediately. Yeah, no joke. But it's not bad though. That higher proof is definitely adding to the complexity that we've got going on here. It has a uh, don't think like uh, fresh cherry out of out like out of like your produce, local produce or anything like that. Think more like a. Uh, not quite cough syrupy, but not quite candy. It's kind of right yeah. in between there, like a tart cherry, uh, some kind of tart it's cherry. It's got like flavor. a molassesy type feel going on there, going down. Yeah, which it is definitely. You know, we've got definitely thicker fingers running on this glass, so I guess that would make sense. It's probably sticking to our tongue a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's oily, which is consistent with the yeah. small yeah. batch from what everything, every time I've ever had the small batch, I always describe it as like sipping butter for me. Mm -hmm. It's just oil, really thick, oily, kind of uh, not light. Like I know a lot of people describe it as a lighter bourbon, but yeah. I get a really heavy oil. I would definitely it. prefer the barrel strength. 
over the small batch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm enjoying just, this. Just out of preference. Again, everybody's preference is a little bit different. but um, To me, it's got a lot more going on. The small batch, initially, when I bought it, it was a fairly simple whiskey. It's a definitely a very good beginner whiskey. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it doesn't have too much going on. It's not overwhelming. Yeah. Uh, it's a more simple, classic bourbon, if I was to say so. And it's, it's not necessarily on the sweeter side of things, I, I wouldn't say. It's got some sweet notes, but ultimately I'm getting more the caramel, the dry... Yeah, it's dry. Dry oak and the... Um, just more vanilla on the small batch, but on this we're definitely getting a little more going on. Again, still not a whole lot of sweet. I still get some of that sweet note coming through more so on this than I do on the small batch. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's definitely high proof. You can definitely feel that. Like I said, it's not super obvious on the nose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to open this up with a little water and see what happens to it. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I can... Uh, if it's anything like the other one, it may open up quite a bit. Which could mean we might be in for... Yeah, I mean, this might make it more... <laughs> aggressive? More or less aggressive, it depends. Um, the nose is actually staying... Whoa! Oh, man! Yeah, yeah. develop the nose. <laughs> wow! Yeah, we've always, we've got to make sure we open it up with water, because you already know. Oh, yeah. If we don't, it's going to be in the comments. Vanilla. Somewhere. So much more vanilla. Yeah, you're definitely getting... That's definitely an Elijah Craig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The vanilla came through a lot stronger this time. The vanilla, the caramel, a little bit more of that corn sweetness. I wouldn't that say it got aggressive though. No, I think this mellowed it out a little bit. Yeah, it allowed some did. of those nuanced notes to come through. Mm-hmm. The nose, however, really bloomed into yeah. something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so. It's really interesting because the last one we had on the show, which was the Angel's Envy, it did the opposite. It did kind of the opposite. Yeah, now, kind of I would it. take the Angel's <laughs> Envy neat all day, every day. I just don't know if I would open it up with water. Yeah, yeah. This one's nose is, I actually, I think I prefer the nose of uh, this one after water, but the taste on it is a little off. It's a little weaker. Doesn't quite have that that bite that spike to it that it had before that I like. Yeah, I can agree with you there. All right, mm. So I'm gonna do a little AB comparison here. Okay. See what yeah. you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely different. I mean, and the color difference in these two is unbelievable. Oh, yeah. This is such a... I don't know if you can see it on the camera very well. This is a very light-colored whiskey Mm -hmm. uh, where you can definitely see the wood influence a lot more on this Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Just before we started recording this, the first thing we said as soon as we put them side by side was uh, that is a ridiculous difference in color. Yeah. (laughs) But, you know, you do get the same thing in most products that are like this where you've got the barrel proof and you've got the normal product. It's to be expected. No, unfortunately we were unable to get our hands on the Angel's NV cast strength because I've seen that and that is way darker. It's the same kind of thing going on here. Um, yeah, I'd be curious to see what that turned out like. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the nose is a lot more mellow on this one. Definitely getting a lot more of the sweet, caramely, vanilla, buttery notes coming off this. I think you said it well, saying it's a, a buttery bourbon. Yeah, I get a lot of butter off of the uh, small batch every time I've had it. It's not, not my favorite, as you guys probably know. I, like I said in the last video, I'm really not much of a bourbon guy. Yeah. And that being said, I think, if anything, that's a really good thing. That's a good uh, set of praise for this, because I don't like it. (laughs) But it's a really good bourbon, I think, for a lot of beginners and things like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not a bad bourbon. It's just not my bourbon. Yeah, not for me. But But I can see where I can definitely appreciate it for what it is. 
Definitely getting more sweet notes on this now that it's had time to open up since I bought the bottle. And I would not recommend water with the small batch. Yeah. It's sitting, it's just high enough that you probably could put maybe a drop or two, but I don't, I don't see it doing much. We'll give it a shot though. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Um, the barrel proof is a lot more in your face with the flavors. This one is more kind of fainty, got a little more floral action going on here, but still a solid. Oh man, you just said floral and I just got a bunch of flower, flory, <laughs> floral yeah. notes off of the It took me a minute to proof. figure out what it was, but yeah. it definitely got some floral notes. Yeah, there's out. a lot of flowers coming out of that. Let's see here. Let's open this up with water. I don't know how it's going to play out. Like you said, it's already proofed down pretty well. But I remember whenever you use water to do anything, whether you're opening up, trying to water down or anything like that, the primary thing that's going to be affected is that first sip. If it is going to open up at all, if it's going to expand those flavors, mm -hmm. it's going to be the first sip. Nothing after that, really. Because what's happening is all those non-water soluble things are floating up to the surface. They're getting pushed up to the surface. So that first sip is what's really going to hit you if a, if a whiskey decides to open up from that. And that's how you find it, you know? You just want to experiment with mm. every whiskey you, you try. It's honestly not half bad water huh. with water on it. I, I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, it almost rounded out better as far as the flavor. Hmm. This actually opened up pretty well with water, believe it or not. Hmm. But it did get a little bit rounder. It got a yeah, little bit softer. Yeah. A little, hmm. Definitely, definitely. This would be a great option on the rocks or, you know, if you need to water it down, more power to you. Because it actually did round out a little bit and get a little more mellowed out. Yeah. And yeah. It's all around pretty good. Where do you think you're, uh, with that in mind, the water and everything, are you still sitting <clears throat> barrel proof or are you... Definitely barrel proof. Small? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, the Elijah Craig barrel proof is kind of a staple. Yeah. a lot of whiskey collections right now. Well, like I said, it's definitely a talked about whiskey, and I can definitely understand why. Um, it's got a lot going flavor-wise, complexity-wise, that higher proof, mm -hmm. definitely recommend it. Actually great in the summer. It definitely um, weighs in at a heftier price point than the normal small batch. Mm -hmm. Normal small batch, you can get it at like $25, $30. This one you're getting closer up to $60 to $65 for the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. But honestly, I think it is definitely worth the upgrade. And if you can get your hands on both, go for it. Yep. Because they're both solid bourbons. Just this one is a little more my style. Yeah. My speed. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, if anyway. You, uh, if you like ice, this is a great yeah. thing. If you like ice with your whiskey and everything, those barrel proof bourbons, barrel, cast strength scotches, anything, all that non diluted, not watered down, nothing to it. It's all those higher proofs. That's really going to hold up to your ice a lot better than a typical let's say 40 percent 45 percent alcohol whiskey absolutely well uh like i said we are the 501 whiskey club you can find us online at our website 501 whiskeyclub.com you can also support us on patreon and give us a like and a subscription on youtube and uh, we'll see you on the next episode